some of the sessions that I'm most interested in viewing uh, and participating in, because they will be live, are those with um, Dr. Peter Marks from the FDA and Dr. Guido Rossi from the European Medicines Agency. So you have both of these truly important men who've done so much to advance the cell and gene therapy sector, but like everybody else in the world, and perhaps even more so than most of us, they're dealing with COVID and the impact that COVID has had on their respective agencies and on what they're able to do. So they're going to be sharing with us their personal insights into what COVID has meant for them, how their agencies are coping with COVID, what that means writ large for the cell and gene therapy sector, uh, if our sector is going to be behind because all of the resources and attention has been placed on COVID. And then they're also just gonna talk about how much promise they see in the regenerative medicine sector and why each of them has independently in the past talked about a pipeline that they see just increasing over time of 10 to 20 different applications or approvals of cell and gene therapies um, over the next five years, increasing exponentially. So this truly is the future of medicine. And we have the, the doctors who are in the middle of approving these um, therapies for their respective agencies, and they're going to be giving us incredible insight. So very much looking forward to that. Additionally, I think we're gonna hear from a number of the first movers in the cell and gene therapy space. And they're gonna say, here's our story. Here's what it was like to attempt to do the R&D on this, to do the clinical trials, to work with regulators, to try to negotiate innovative payment models. And they're gonna be saying, this is what it's like to be a first mover in cell and gene therapy in what is going to be the future of medicine. So I think those are going to be incredibly insightful and uh, impactful, but also really exciting to watch. So I can't wait. 